Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Now on this video, I'm going to show you how to make a buffalo check pattern or a buffalo plaid pattern in Cricut Design Space. I've uploaded another video today doing the same thing in Inkscape, so if that suits your purposes any better, you can watch that video as well or instead of this one. Now I'm going to start by getting a square and I want my square to be two inches by two inches. So I'll go up here to the width and I'm going to say two inches and it's locked so it changed the height and the width. Then I want to duplicate this twice and I'll change one of those. It's going to be white in the end but for a placeholder I'm just going to do gray and then this We'll go here. So basically on a buffalo print pattern, you usually have a solid color, a really light color, and then two halftone colors here, or in my case, it's going to be split colors to kind of make it look halftone. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'll take this square, and I'm going to use more rectangles. So I'll click on Shapes, Square, and then I want this to be 0.2 inches tall, so 0.2 inches in height. And then I'll unlock it, and I want it to be, I think I'll go 6 inches wide. Make the screen bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to go ahead and change this to red. And then I'm going to duplicate it 8 more times. Very good. So let's go ahead and get these kind of lined up. So click on a line after you select all of them and just center them horizontally. Now I don't want there to be that much white space. So I'm going to take my bottom one and move it up. And I'll take my top one. I'm going to drag it down here somewhere. Let's see when we distribute these what they look like. So we're going to go to a line. I'll go ahead and center them again. And then a line and distribute vertically. That will make sure there's equal white space between the top line and the bottom line. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And that looks pretty good. I think I'd like them to be just a little bit more close, a little bit closer together. So I'll just do that step one more time. Okay, looks good. So now the last thing I'm going to do is weld that. Then I want to turn these 45 degrees. Now, you could do them this way. For some reason, I like them going this way. So then I can either keep rotating them, or for me, it's just easier in this to do it flip horizontal. There we go. Now, we're going to take our black square, and we're going to put these lines over it. And you want it to be pretty symmetrical. So you can see this point and this point. They should be kind of between two red stripes. Just about equal distance from the point to the red stripes. I think that looks pretty good. So I'll select both of those. And then I'll slice. I'll get rid of the excess red. Then I can drag that piece off. Drag this piece off. Now I'm going to choose between this and this. And I think I'm going to use this one. I can just get rid of the red and then I'll reserve this just in case I change my mind. So let's get back to the rest of our project. Make the screen bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this would go here and then I'll duplicate it and it'll also go right here. Now what I have found is that it's a whole lot easier to really tell if it's working if your colors are such that you could see a black line through the color. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But for now I'm just going to change all of these red. Okay, so if everything's black and you move it together, you can't really see as well as if 
they're the same color. So I can see that's overlapped a little bit, probably a little too far. Let's just try it right there. Now, I'm going to select those two things. I'm going to align at the top or the bottom, it wouldn't matter, and then I'll weld them. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and move this up. And that looks pretty good. We'll see in a minute. And then we'll take those shapes and we'll align them on the left. Now we'll weld those together. Okay, and that looks good too. If you don't get them quite close enough, you're going to see a little black line here. And if your colors are also black, you won't really notice the black line. So again, if you just change this to a color where you could actually see black through it, to me that's easier. All right, I don't really need that. Let's just get rid of him. So we'll duplicate. We'll go through the same process. We're going to put it pretty close. Then select both objects. We're going to align those at the top. And then we'll weld. And then we'll duplicate again. And you could either go to the right or you could go below it. It doesn't really matter. Then select both objects. We're going to align those on the left. And then weld. Okay, just a couple more to go. We're going to duplicate again. This time I'm going to put it over here to the right. Select both shapes. Align at the top. and then weld. And then for the last one, we'll duplicate, drag it to the bottom, and I have a little space in between there. It needs to go up just a little bit. Select both objects, align left or right, again it wouldn't matter, and then weld. And there it is. Now, if you want to see what this is going to look like, let's say my HDB is going to be black. So change that to black. And then let's say that my shirt is going to be red. Let's just get a square, so drag it pretty big, change it red. Let's go with a little bit less bright red. And then click on Arrange, move it backwards, and then Get it up under your check. That's what it would look like. So it's really kind of fun to play with this. Let's go back onto the check. Let's go with kind of a gold. Ooh, that's pretty. And then we can make the back go with fall colors. Do it kind of a golden brown. That's very pretty. So that's how easy it is to make a buffalo check that you could actually cut out of HTV and have that same effect. So tomorrow, I'm going to do a video where I actually use this pattern to cut out of HTV. So if you want to see that, join me again tomorrow. For now, thanks so much for joining me. Until the next video, bye-bye.